All right, this is another review of the external features of the heart. This time we have a 3D volume rendered reconstruction of the heart, and we're going to take a look at some of the external features that you may see. Now, right now we're looking at it in the frontal projection, so this is the heart as it would appear in a chest radiograph, and we can see that the contours of the right mediastinum superiorly are composed of the superior vena cava, then we have the structures of the right hilum, the pulmonary arteries and veins. And then we have the right atrium that makes up the inferior aspect of the right cardiac border. You can see that the ascending aorta is in this region. And if you have a patient who has an ascending aortic aneurysm, this could be shifted over and could actually contribute to the right side of the heart. So if you have a prominent superior right cardiac border, something that you want to think about is an ascending aortic aneurysm. Now if we look at the heart, the left cardiac border, we can see that starting up at the top we have the vessels and aortic arch. Then we have this little notch right here between the aortic arch itself and the left pulmonary artery. And that is our PA window, or pulmonary arterial window. And then we can see as we go down we have the contour of the left ventricle that makes up the inferior left cardiac border on the frontal projection. Now there's a couple of things to be aware of and that is that you can have a left atrial appendage which can become enlarged especially in patients that have a degree of heart failure uh, possibly due to mitral valve disease and you may see a contour abnormality here due to enlargement of the left atrial appendage. So we reviewed a little bit of the external contour on axial imaging and now if we look on uh, this 3D reconstruction we can see a couple of features. Number one, the anterior interventricular sulcus. Here we can see the external contour in 3D and we can see that vessel that stays right in that sulcus. That's the left anterior descending artery. It might get confusing as you are looking at uh, a heart and trying to figure out what chambers are what. In this case we have a couple of uh, landmarks. We can see that this chamber empties into this vessel that um, gives rise to the pulmonary artery. So this is the pulmonary outflow tract of the right ventricle and we can see a little bit of the contour of the pulmonary valve right there. So that makes this structure the right ventricle and then we know if that's the right ventricle that this is the left ventricle. So we spin around we can see the free wall of the left ventricle. We can see the left anterior descending artery that stays in that interventricular sulcus and we can appreciate the diagonal arteries that supply the left ventricular free wall. Now as we rotate around and see the atrioventricular groove, we can kind of make out the circumflex artery that lies in that groove and we can make out some of the cardiac veins as well. And as we continue to spin around, we can see now looking at the heart posteriorly that we have our pulmonary veins emptying into the left atrium, which is the most posterior chamber. Um, and then from the back side, we can see our right and left pulmonary arteries. It's notable that the right pulmonary artery kind of passes posterior to the ascending aorta there. So we continue to rotate around. We can see on the acute margin of the heart, our atrioventricular sulcus that is the home of the right coronary artery. And we can see the acute marginal branches that supply the free wall of the right atrium. And we can see on this side, our right atrial appendage and we can see the superior vena cava that empties into the right atrium and we can see the inferior vena cava that empties into the right atrium inferiorly. So these are the external structures of the heart. If we do a tumble rather than a rotate then we can appreciate that this anterior interventricular sulcus passes around the cardiac apex and we see that same sort of sulcus separating the right and left ventricles on the posterior or inferior surface of the heart. And we can appreciate that the RCA coursing in that AV groove gives rise to the posterior descending artery, which stays in that inferior interventricular sulcus. And then down here, we can see that the coronary sinus empties into the right atrium. And the coronary sinus lives in the inferior atrioventricular sulcus.